Hot damn, what a movie that is, man. Whew. My brain feels like it's ready to explode. I just retained so much information. Holy cow. Um, yeah, I haven't watched this movie in a while, and just watching it again, I was able to follow it because I did know the scenes that were going to happen, so I was able to follow the story. But did he, did he wake up at the end? <laughs> did he wake up? Did he get home? All right, I just got home from the movies. Is this cinematic? Does this cause, like, nice lens flare? Does it look like the sun is shining? Or is it stupid? It's probably stupid. But, yeah, uh, just got home from Inception. Look, guys, this movie is... It's a masterpiece. It is an action masterpiece. I'm going to post a full review for the movie tomorrow. So definitely look out for that. Um, this is just like a first reaction after seeing it again. And I'll tell you what, like, I don't know how Christopher Nolan wasn't directed or <laughs> wasn't nominated for Best Director at the Oscars that year. Like, it, it baffles my mind. If he should have gotten nominated for anything, it should have been this. Um, he was nominated for Dunkirk. That was his first director nomination. Um, so he did definitely deserve it for that as well, but I mean, come on, like, this man wrote this movie, he, he just, he had the complete vision for it, and I don't understand how you not nominate the man, uh, who basically brought it all to life, uh, it baffles me, so, yeah, but look, this movie, it's incredible, the pacing in this movie is out of control. Like, right from when it starts, you are sucked in. And that's a lot to do with, like, Hans Zimmer and his music in this and his themes that he comes up with and just the style of music that he makes works so perfectly for this movie. Um, yeah, but the theories that go around for this, like, after it ends, because they don't really... They don't show you Cobb killing... Sidel or Sido or whatever the character's name is. Uh, you never get to see that. They're both in limbo. And then basically it cuts to Cobb going f for the gun. And then it cuts to him waking up on the, on the plane. So, yeah. Maybe we need the light now. So, it doesn't really... <laughs> Ah, shit. So it doesn't really... Um, I don't know. You don't get an exact answer, but what we do see is probably the more satisfying ending of him getting back to his kids. And I would probably say that's what happened, but you never know. There's always that slight possibility that he... Yeah, that's not going to work. My finger's getting burned. But there's always that possibility that he got stuck in limbo uh, and his brain actually melted out of his head in a way, uh, his physical self, you know, outside of the dream state. But look, Christopher Nolan totally wrote the hell out of this movie. Like, it, it does make sense. If you really pay attention and you listen to every single line of dialogue, you understand what they're doing and what they're trying to do and underneath that, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio's basically baggage that he carries, the character of Cobb, the baggage he carries with uh, this mall character who I always thought her name was Molly, and they just put it to, you know, condense it to Mall, but they never reference her as Molly. She's always just Mall, so I don't know. Uh, every time I think of that name, it's like I see a red face with horns but yeah um more on my review tomorrow but basically i want to ask you guys like do you have theories about the end of this movie uh what do you think happened like do you think he made it back or do you not i would probably say i would lean towards he did wake up and he did get out of limbo um but you never know like i said that is the more satisfying ending and that's probably, like, it, it, it makes it a, a lot more of a satisfying experience. But, yeah, so, look, comment your thoughts down below. Um, I don't know if there's a finalized answer anywhere, but it's always nice to, you know,
get other people's opinions on it. So, yeah, guys, uh, if you liked this one, uh, definitely comment down below. Uh, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. All that's in the description of this video. And I'm not sure if I mentioned the little first bit that you see in this video while I get my light back on here. Uh, the little bit you see in the beginning with the um, NES ornament that's actually a Hallmark uh, keepsake ornament the, of the 2020 series. I did pick that up. It's in the house now, um, which is awesome. Like I saw that and I was like, wow, I didn't know that that was part of the series. So it's like I have to, I have to get it. Um, so it is pretty cool. 20 bucks if you got a Hallmark near you and you're a fan of the NES gaming system, definitely go ahead and pick that up. Um, they're not sponsoring me, though, so I don't know. I think it's cool, though. So, yeah, uh, that's been it for me, guys. Again, thanks so much for watching. And like I said, full review for Inception coming tomorrow. Spoilers. Yes, of course, spoilers. And, yeah, until uh, till then, I'll see you guys next time.